Hello, I'm Ramon and welcome back to Allscale RC. Today we're going to be installing a camper on this FMS FCX24 Unimog. This camper is from Fair RC. It comes in two options, paint it and unpaint it. Well, I knew this was 3D printed and I figured usually when things get 3D printed, there's a lot of print lines and if they were going to paint it, they would smooth out all those lines and I was correct. Uh, so I ordered the painted one. The difference in price is six or seven dollars. So the time I saved in sanding and everything, that six or seven dollars was worth it. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and remove the rear bed from the FCX24 Unimog and install this camper on. See what it looks like. All right, I forgot to turn on the camera. So I already removed the two back screws. The two back screws go right here. And then there's two right along the chassis rails. So the bed is off. Screws did not drop out though. Let me get a pick so I can push, push those screws out. Screws do not want to drop out. Oh, I'm struggling here. Don't know what was holding it. All right, now you have this little fake gas tank in the way. You have this other box here in the way. So I'm going to remove those. And you have this other big box here in the way. So I don't think we need any of them. Now for these two square plastic tanks or boxes, I'm going to need a tiny Phillips head. One little screw here. And this one has a screw here. And with these little screws, sometimes it's tough to know if they're actually coming out or if you're just stripping them. That's out. That was mounted to a bracket here, but let's see if... I need to remove that or not. Here's the camper. It looks like we might have to remove both of these braces for the camper to actually go on. Let's get these rear wheels out the way. See if maybe that'll change the approach angle. Be careful because your pins like to come out of your, your hexes. We'll put those back in later. Now let's see if it <laughs> wants to hang up here. It looks like I'm going to have to move the body or loosen the body. So the easiest way, there's two screws right here that hold the brackets that support the body. I'm going to pop those off. And there's two more screws right here. And that's going to, I believe, completely loosen the body. All right, let me see if I can slide it on now that I have a little bit of play. I don't want to remove the body completely. All right. So I just loosened the front screws. That gave me enough space to be able to slide to be able to slide the camper on. But the rear bracket here as well has to be removed. So that's coming off. To tell you the truth, I like how this looks even without the camper. So I might need a second one. I would love a second one. Mug's one of my favorite trucks. I live on a barrier island, so here as uh, one of the one or two of the rescue trucks are Unimogs. So I've actually seen them in person. Oh wow, that fits nice. Let's put our mat down. Well, first off, let's put the screws that I took out that hold the front cab on. Let me put those back. Let me tighten up the front screws for the cab. Remember, you're going into plastic. You don't have to go that tight. Just snug. You don't want to strip out your plastic. Now they gave us, they gave us a, uh, four screws for these uh, retainers. So those are the ones we're gonna use. And they look like they're 1.5 as well. Now the screws provided with the kit appear to be the wrong size and they will strip out your mounting holes. So you're better off reusing the screws that came with the FMS Unimog originally. Let's get the pins in for the Hexes. Make sure your tire direction is correct. <laughs> Get the other pin in. Everything I did not need. There you have it. The FMS Unimog with the Fair RC camper installed. I had to remove these two square tanks and this little gas tank and two cross braces. Aside from that, I had to completely remove the two the two screws that hold the cab on 
in the back and loosen up the front ones to allow the cab to move to be able to slide this in. After you do that, it fits very nice. There are really no real gaps out of the ordinary. It fits perfectly. It's, it's, it's a great fit. The only thing I don't like is there are no, um, there's no fender wells. And if you go through mud, you're going to splash up inside the cab, the camper, and it's going to get full of mud. So you might want to make yourself, if you plan on actually using this outside, you might want to make yourself some, some wheel wells to keep the mud out. Aside from that, I think it looks pretty damn awesome. Now I wish I had a second Unimog so I could have the old body on. I might beef up the shocks because with the extra weight, it looks like it's sagging a little more. But aside from that, it looks good. The camper almost looks like the back of an armored car. It's pretty cool. There it is, uh, added in neutral. And how do I turn on the lights on this thing? I'll bring this in for a close up. See, as you can see, there is no wheel wells. So mud can splash up in there. Hopefully that was helpful. I will put the link to uh, FRC where I got this from in the description. And thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.